the air in the shock. be a little residual but that doesn't matter we'll bleed that out later for jumping it and shit and done you now have successfully put 45 weight in your shot probably do the same damn thing with a turkey baster okay now here's how we bleed it stiffer way stiffer hopefully it was all on camera if not oh well we'll do it on the next one that's all there is to it 45 weight on the shock like almost one shock holds up just the chassis now see that it's pretty impressive is just like the sleeve it's the nut <laughs> creepy plastic nut that was nice drive line in ding drive line done I'm punching in and round two damn son put that one on the Hulk. Got it. Once again, all the way to the top. And we got it all out. All right. Now comes the fun part. Don't mess with the shock. Pour fluid in immediately. <laughs> That's what I call it. Press fully. And 
make sure it's nice and tight. Bingo. Done deal. If that isn't stiff enough, then try the next weight. That's what I do. I do it all by shock weight. I hardly ever mess with the valving and shocks anymore. So they've come out with all these different weights and shit. It's made it a lot more tunable for us. Not just the crawler world, but the scale world, as I call it. I'm actually rather excited about this. It should handle pretty good when it's done. And that is that. That is my dirty little secret. See, and it still droops exactly the same. It's pretty sweet.